maybe you're proud of, but maybe not so happy about? <laughs> Well, you know, Jesse, I'm glad you brought that up because I actually asked my team about that today, why my name was on the list, because I don't even own any stocks uh, and I haven't all of 2023. As a matter of fact, we have to report everything, including children who are dependents of ours. And I think what was reported was actually related uh, to my son's account that, that my, his father and I had set up for him years ago. So the Unusual Whales is a trading company looking for customers. They're not always accurate in their reporting, um, but thank you for bringing that up and letting me address that issue. All right. Marjorie Taylor Greene thinks her constituents are stupid. And I have an example of that right here. Guess how stocks work. Do you think they work with a year cap? You buy a stock in 2021, it disappears in 2022? Because that's how Marjorie Taylor Greene wants you to think stocks work. Which would mean if you have a 401k, if you have a Roth IRA, anything like that, um, and you paid into it last year, it's gone now. It's ineffective this year, according to Marjorie Taylor Greene. Because she is on the list for being in government and having stocks. And her argument against that is, I didn't buy any stocks in 2023. Insider trading who? I, I would never, I wouldn't do that. Not this year, not in 2023. I guess she lost all the stocks she bought in 2021 and 2022 in the divorce. This website here is capitaltrades.com where you can see the stock trades of any politician. And as you can see, while the year 2023 isn't on the list, there are quite a few stocks that Marjorie Taylor Greene still owns because that's how stocks work. And while she isn't by any means the only politician pulling this kind of stuff, she is the worst politician at pulling the wool over her constituents' eyes, as she consistently makes evidence time and time again. President Biden abused his power to sell our oil, reduce gas prices, so that the midterm elections would swing Democrats' way. It's a shame to trick the American people just to win an election. No president should be able to use their emergency powers for politics. Yes, Marjorie Taylor Greene thinks you're stupid enough to believe that Biden lowering gas prices was a bad, selfish move. He tricked the American people. Can you tell me uh, how much how much COVID cash went to CRT? CRT. Critical race theory in education. It's it's a racist right. uh, uh, curriculum used to teach children uh, that somehow their white skin is not equal to black skin and other things in education. Yeah. Uh, no, I do not know that, but I, I do know that there's f provisions that the uh, federal funds generally are not used, they're supposed to be used for curriculum. Oh, uh, that it's a state. Oh, Mr. Dodaro, I have to tell you, in Illinois, that they, they received $5.1 billion um, at, at an elementary school there that, that used it for equity and diversity. Um, so it's, it's being used for these things. Wow richest elementary school in America because it received $5.1 billion all to itself during COVID. You see what they did with the money was they built an individual school building with full staff for each student because they were able to afford it. And then they turned the entire curriculum, every single subject, every single class into critical race theory with the money. The $5.1 billion that she's referencing was spread across the entire state and was used to hire more teachers and to create equity of learning, such as buying all the kids' laptops because not all the kids come from the same financial situation. None of it was used specifically to teach critical race theory. And I don't know how you would be able to spend $5.1 billion on teaching critical race theory. Not to mention the whole argument that what she said is not what critical race theory is about. One, they made up critical race theory. Critical race theory is just the teaching of history and facts. And it's not racist and it's not racist against white kids. It's, that's not what it's about at all. But Marjorie Taylor Greene thinks you're dumb enough to believe all of that. She really does think her constituents are so unbelievably stupid. And if you have somehow ended up on this channel, but you are a previous or current fan of Marjorie Taylor Greene, just try to use this as an example, many examples that I gave, for the fact that 
People like that can't be trusted to have your best interests at heart. As with everything, take it with a grain of salt. Do your own research. Don't just believe something that someone tells you. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.